Welcome to this video on easily booking meetings in different time zones in Microsoft Outlook. So if like me, you work with people in different time zones and across the world, sometimes it's hard to remember how far ahead or how far behind they are. And then you've got to keep checking back to make sure you're not booking a meeting in in a time that doesn't work for them. And if you're trying to do this really quickly and you've got a time in mind, rather than having to do all of that work, you can just let Outlook do it for you and make a quick change so you can see the dates. So you are booking the meeting in their time zone. So let's have a look. I am in the desktop version of Outlook and the newer version, just in case yours looks a little bit different. So I'm in the calendar on the left hand side and I'm just going to click on the new event option. OK, that screen has now popped up and I can now create a new meeting. So let's do a project meeting. And let's invite someone to the meeting. And then you can see underneath that I've got the time and the date. So I'm actually going to change it to tomorrow. And then I've got the time, but I'm in the UK and I'm inviting people that are actually in America. Or they're on the East Coast, so they're five hours behind. So I've now got to work out what time zone that is. Now I can do the calculations, but sometimes you just want to make sure it's really nice and accurate. And if you want to make sure you absolutely get the right time for that user, especially if you're not quite sure what time zone there is. What you'll see is this little world icon and if you click on it, it will open up the time zone drop downs, and you can then just go in and select the one that works best for you so that you are booking it in that time zone rather than yours. So let me just scroll and just find Eastern time. There we go, because that's the example I was talking about. And now if I book this, even though it says 12, it's going to be 12 o'clock Eastern time, which is five hours behind. So actually it'll be 5 p.m. for me, but I'm booking it quite clearly at 12 in Eastern time. So I can see exactly what time zone it's going to, what time it's going to appear in other people's calendars if they're in a different time zone. And it's just a quick way of making it a little bit easy for yourself rather than having to think about it when we're all super busy and we're doing five things at once and there's lots going on and you don't want to book it in the wrong time. So you can make that change if you need to. And then I'm just going to click on send. Obviously, I would fill in any other bits of information I need to do. And I'm click, click send there. And then if you notice, I booked it in for Friday at four and I booked it in for 12, but that was on... Uh, Eastern. So if I go down, you can see it's dropped into my calendar because I'm in the UK as five o'clock in the evening, which is the same time, but I'm in a different time zone. So a really, really quick way there of just making sure you're booking meetings in for the right time, especially when you are working with people in different time zones, rather than having to go back and figure it out, then you can use this to help you. So one to have a play around with, one to help you be a little bit more productive. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.